feel like you guys are about to steal. I guess you have a fake Walmart receipt on your phone. Over the course of several months, a number of crimes have been reported on. From Ventura to Orange, even in Santa Clarita, recently voted one of the safest cities, criminal activity has been ramping up, affecting several businesses in the area, including a small snack store. I'm thinking it's, it's a group of people doing, doing it because uh, we had heard that the various other Michoacanas were broken into previously. You know, I, I hear on the news all the time, and I, you know, I'm, that several stores at the mall were broken into. So I know it's it's it seems to be happening more, unfortunately. Guillermo is not the only business owner to have suffered as a result. Other businesses have been preyed upon by thieves taking their chances. But what is the response from law enforcement? Um, we always are conducting extra patrol checks within the areas. We have our detectives who pick up the cases and our special teams that go and look for these thieves. There's always been an issue with theft and vandalism. Um, it comes in waves, so it comes and goes. With security technology evolving to staggering levels of control, sources recommend the use of available products in the form of surveillance cameras. But many places still continue to use security guards and patrol officers. Security companies such as OPSEC are not short of any business. Break-ins of vandalism are very common in our industry. If a guards work in a shopping center, they may end up uh, observing vandalism that occurred possibly. We could do um, uh, at least three or four a week. Most people are law-abiding citizens and they do follow policies of businesses and stores. So are we still safe? Yes. Just we have to always be aware of our surroundings. Deadly takes um, both from our side and the community side. Do you see something, um, say something, call us right away. Even if you think it's a little thing, it can turn out to be a big you know, drug bust or some sort of theft in progress. Um, it helps us go and find um, you know, the bad guys. For Canyons News, this is Zach Imperial.